Hello, everybody. Yeah, you thought the title was uh, going to be clickbait? No. <laughs> I am actually in the tub. What I am doing, I'm taking off the old caulk, as you can see over there. I've done that part. And over to the soap dish, and I've got that to do. But this over here, I have already done. I've still got to clean it. And I'll take the hair dryer and I will dry it. What I'm doing, I'm not putting regular caulking down because I feel like that this space is a little bit too wide. And like over there in the corner, over here, I'm going to have to put a little bit of caulk in there because it is wider than what I've got to put in there. <clears throat> and this is what I am using. I got this off of our favorite online store. I've had it for a little while, but I just haven't had time to get to it. But I'm going to get to it now. So, yes, you all are joining me in the bathtub. <laughs> Let me put that over there, and I'll put you on hold and put you on the tripod so I won't be making you dizzy. And these two holes that are right here, they're actually not all the way holes. I've got some clear caulking in there. But there was a bar here that went from here all the way up here. Well, the tiles are gone from up there. And yes, I do need to clean my, my grout and stuff, and I will get that done at the same time. Um, there was a grab bar there. And the people that lived here, oh, several, several years ago. I don't know, eight, ten years ago, maybe. Maybe more. I don't know. But the guy was really, really, really big. And he went to grab the bar to pull himself up. And he should have known better. But he pulled it out of the wall. So he tore that up. And he tore the tiles out up here farther on the wall. And to do that, I'm going to have to take this all out. Put cement board on the back of this. And I just don't... I'm not... <laughs> I've never worked with cement board. So I wouldn't know how, how to do it. You know, Greg said that he would help me, but I, what I really, really want is a walk-in shower. With my leg issues, sometimes I have tub trouble getting in and out of the tub. Sometimes my legs just say, uh-uh. But anyhow, let me put you on pause. I'm going to put you on the tripod and get the rest of this caulking out of here. Okay, I'm about ready to climb back in the tub. This is not going to be pretty. <laughs> <laughs> I've got all my tools laying here on a table. Well, it's actually what holds my toilet paper and my stuff. Oh. I'm sitting on a bucket with a towel on it because it gets kind of rough on the butt. I've got some of my stuff here, so I'll have it. I've even had to use a hammer and a screwdriver. I don't have any chisels. I know, I need to get some because I have needed it before, but I just haven't. Okay, let me see here. I can't get this stuff off of here. I've already been working on this stuff for a couple of hours. And the crud behind this and I have no clue who did this, but the crud and the mold and stuff, black shit, behind this is horrible. So it's hard telling how long this has been on here, but I'm glad I'm getting rid of it. I am bleaching and cleaning the tub and the wall and everything. I mean, it's just plain nasty. See, look at this junk. Yes, I'm going to clean it really, really good. And I've got, if I can reach it, this little brooming pan here that I've been cleaning my mess up with. I 
I had a smaller <laughs> uh, scraper. It was about like this. But I've put it somewhere and I have no idea what I've done with it. And move my paper towels over there. I thought maybe they might be laying there, but they're not. Hopefully by the time I get done with all this that it will be all clean and shiny and new and no water will get behind it to make it mold again. I'm going to bleach it and clean it and everything. And then I'll probably take a hair dryer to it and get it good, nice and good and dry. It says you can't use the tub for at least 12 hours. And I think with regular caulking, isn't it like uh, 24 hours that you can't use it? And yeah, I'm not throwing this stuff in the floor. <laughs> I've got a trash can right here. Okay, let me go ahead and let you all get off of here. And I will be back at some point and show you my progress. So I will be back in just a little bit. Got to get over here to see what button I'm going to push so I don't stop the video so I can just pause it and get out of the tub without falling. Yeah, I'm sure that would be like comedy, but knowing my luck, I'd get hurt. But anyhow, we'll be back in just a little bit. Okay, I'm back everybody. Finally, um, I don't know how long it's been since I was here last. But, this is what I've got done. I've got a piece of tape over there. Just the edge of it, maybe a quarter of an inch wasn't sticking. So, I put some tape on it to hold it for now. And I've got that to do. And I've got that already done. So, I'm going to put you right here, hopefully. <laughs> Get you fastened down so you don't go anywhere. Then I'm going to climb in and I'm going to show you how this is done. Sorry about the shadow. That's the only light I've got in here besides the one over the medicine cabinet. Okay. I'm going to show you the glue that's, or the adhesive, whatever you want to call it, that's on this side. Uh, the directions say to take it and fold it this way and that way it'll be easier to adhere to the wall so i've already done that all the way and i don't know what you can see over here but just take the plastic off of it peel it back some not all the way and that way you'll have enough to stay out of the way let me grab the scissors and get these out of the way because they're bugging me Oh, sorry. Then you fold it this way and you adhere the bottom first. Run it right along the tub. And then you take your fingers. I hope you can see that. Nothing about this house is square, plumb, or level. <laughs> uh, take my word for it, because it's not. But this house was built in either 1930 or 1933. So that tells you how old this house is. And this is one of those old cast iron tubs. I was going to refinish this tub because it just looks so awful where it's so old. But I started reading the reviews on that 
refinisher and it's not very good. So, I think I've decided against it. So I'll just live with it like it is till I can have me a uh, walk-in shower put in. And yeah, it'll be a while. And I've got one of my hairs in the glue here. So let me kind of trim this off just a little bit. Give me something to work with. Be my luck, I would have cut it too short. <laughs> Just a bit without spilling my water that I've got in the floor. And I can't see whether you can see what I'm seeing or not. Yeah, I think you can. Okay. And I'm going to go over here and I'm going to see if I can't trim this halfway decent. Okay. It's no big deal if I don't. Because I can always put caulking on it. And that's what I'm going to have to do over here in this other far corner. Because my seams didn't quite match. And that's okay. I'm going to put some caulking in there. Okay, and it's about as done as it's going to get. I'm going to take some white caulking and put in here, make it look better, and then I've got to clean my tub. But I have to give this 12 hours to dry and set, and then I'll give my tub a good cleaning. Get this and all this grout and stuff. But anyhow, let me climb out, and I will show you the finished product. Oh. out of the tub because I had one leg in the tub. Okay, let me take it off. It's going to be a little bit wiggly, but I think I can show you better without it being on the tripod. Whoops. There's my shadow. Doesn't that look a whole lot better? Okay, you can see the hole over there where I didn't quite mix up, mix up the seam, or match up the seams. And I've got to figure out how to get that rust stain out of there. When uh, my ex-boyfriend was still here, he set a, a can of, uh, at, not aftershave, but shaving cream over there, and it rusted there. And I haven't been able to get rid of it since. So if you all know some magic way to take the rust off, let me know. And I will try it, definitely. And I also put caulking oh, all the way up this wall here. It's next to the window. I haven't done that side because it doesn't need it all the way. But anyhow, I think it looks a whole lot better than it did. It just shows just how old and yellow the tub is. But anyhow, that's it for today. And I appreciate y'all joining me in the tub. <laughs> y'all take care. Stay safe and I'll see you tomorrow.